Welcome to Game War, ladies and gentlemen, and sadly, this could be the last MLB The Show 20 franchise rebuild in my MLB The Show career, so we gotta make this one good. It is going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. We're doing this with a final rebuild of my MLB The Show career, and we're using a roster by the name of Day D E H two 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 five two. Um, I'm going to put that in my description of this video. It's on the current 2021 uh, day roster, 2021 roster day. So let's go over who we got. So we got Hunjin Ryu, who's going to be a good player. I think he's going to be a good player. Um, so we're, we're going to keep him. Then we got Steven Maz. We're going to do something depending on how he does. Then we got Robbie Ray, Tanner Roark, who we might trade at the trade deadline. And then... We got Nate Pearson and the Tret Thorits are uh, pitching rotation. I'd say it's looking okay. And then the relief, it's, we need to work on that a little bit. We got uh, Julian Merriweather. Then we got Ryan Borke, Rafael Dolis, Tim Miza, Ross Stripling, and then Tyler Chatwood. Kirby Yates, obviously our closer. And then we got uh, Danny Jansen, Alejandro Kirk, who's um, and then Reese McGuire. So. That's the catchers, and we do have a nice uh, prospect in Gabriel Moreno. I'm gonna see how. Let's see how he does. Obviously, Vlad. We don't need to talk about that. And then Roddy Telez, who's gonna be a backup. Uh, Marcus Semyon. We are definitely gonna keep him for this rebuild. Uh, he's got a so he could become the free agent next year. So I do want to keep him. Maybe sign him to a few year contract. And then Joe Panic, who we might do him as a trade piece. Kevin Biggio. We don't really need to worry about the third base. Uh, second base, uh, shortstop, we also have Bo Bichette uh, and over there. And then we also got two prospects in Austin Martin and Jordan Groshen. Who we, we might trade Ray Jordan, but Austin Martin is a guy I'm looking for in the next couple of seasons. Ludo Gurriel is good. Uh, George Springer, we don't really need to talk about that. And then Teoscar Hernandez and then Randall Grichik. So we have about 100,000, no, not 100,000, um... We have about a hundred, no, oh my god, a million in the bank. This is what our lineup is currently looking like right now as of this moment. I mean, the pitching is all right. So let's just go ahead and I'll sim, uh, I'll sim the first whole season because I want to get into this um, in 2020. Um, I want to get this in 2021. I want to get like in 2021, so we can do whatever there. So yeah, I'll, nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna do whatever. It'll be the same. So I'll see you guys all in the first official season in 2021. We're coming. So we're just gonna recap. So coming off at the end of the first season, 84 and 78, not good enough to make the playoffs. You know, so we were 13 games back on the division, but we were three games back on the wild card. Dang, man. That, that sucks. But let's see how everyone did. You, Luri Gordiel. Luri Gordiel, 40 home runs, 90 RBIs with 285. You'd love to see that. Marcus Semyon could have done better. Wow, his stats, all of his stats are going down, which is crazy. He had a decent, okay season. Don't know what happened there. Bo Bichette did pretty... He did really good. 36 home runs. I'd love to see that. Vlad, love to see that. 36, 242. Springer, 294. Not bad. Teoscar Hernandez. This is, I mean, 26 home runs, 243. Not bad. Rowdy Telez, 255. Kevin Vigio, 243. So, pretty... Okay, so... the. Hitting did really well. The offense did really well. The bench, all besides Danny Jansen, did really, really well. But let's see how the pitching did. Hyunjin Ryu, wow, he did he did okay. Steven Matz, surprisingly with that win and loss record, he did really good. Robbie Ray, uh, he didn't do that well. Trent Thornton, not that great. And then Tanner Warhawk, not that good. Ross Stripling was okay. Julian Mayweather was all right. Rafael Dolez, nah. Tyler Chatwood, I mean, okay. Ryan Borick did really well. Tim Myers did okay. And then Kirby Yates didn't do that bad. I think he's got, what, one year? Yeah, so he comes a free agent next year. We're sitting, we're sitting good. 
And let's see who wins. The Rays defeat the Braves in the 2020 World Series. So that's actually not that bad. Romeo Fields retired. I don't really care. No, don't really care. Exclusive free agents. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'm going to grab Marcus Semyon. So can I... Which is a tender craft contract... Okay, you know what? Let's just give him let's give him one more year on his contract. Kirby Yates, obviously we're gonna do the same thing. Eight about eight point seven million, and that's not bad. Steven Matz, I'm gonna do you know what? He did pretty good. Let's give let's I'm gonna give him a two year fifteen million. Let's see what that opens up. I'm gonna let Tanner work go. Uh Robbie Ray, I'm only gonna give him one year. Tyler Chatwood, I'm gonna let go. I'm only going to get Joe Panic back for a trade piece. And then the rest, I'm going to let walk. So, we're going to let the rest walk. One year to your qualified free agents. Alright, so... Let's see. Offer arbit so arbitration. Um... Let's see. I'm going to grab Vlad for about... I want him for the whole rebuild, so I'm going to give a Vlad that contract. Ryan Borak, he did really well. So let's, I'm going to give him a con... I'm going to give him a three-year contract. Kevin Biggio, I'm only going to do a two-year deal with him. Ross Stripling, I don't really know. I mean, I might let him go. Rafael Davies, I'm going to let go. AJ Cole, I'm also going to let go. Teoscar Hernandez, I'm gonna give him. I'm just gonna do a one-year deal. Let's see how he does. Danny Jansen, um, I'm gonna. I want to see if we could get a better catcher. I mean, yes. Actually, no. You know what? Let's give him a. You know what? Let's give him a one-year deal. One year, 4.2 wheel. Ross Stripling, I'm only gonna give it, bring him back one year. And then the rest. Let's see. I'm just gonna give them one-year deals. I'm just gonna give the yeah. I'm just gonna give the rest one year deals. Well, maybe not Rodney Stiles. I'm only I'm gonna give him a two year, and then these two I'm gonna let walk. Um, tender contracts. Bo Bichette. I want to keep him for a bit, so I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a two year deal on there, and then I'll offer up the rest. I'll offer up the rest contracts, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, free agency. What do we need? Well, we're probably going to need a starter. This is a pretty good free agency. I'm not going to lie. I think this is one of the better free agencies we've had. So, ooh, okay. We could get Noah Syndergaard. That wouldn't be that. That actually wouldn't be. That actually would be good if we can get. Noah Syndergaard, but I'm only going to give him 40, no, let's give him 5 years on his contract, why not, 5 years, 5 years, 108 million, so about 21.6 per year, um, but, I'll see what we can do, Ooh, I'll go through free agency and whatever, and I'll see you guys all in a second, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. But I'll see you guys all in the second season once we get things out. So see you all in year number two. All right, so we are in year number two, but the official first season of this rebuild. And as you can see, we made some decent moves, I would say. I mean, we got some decent... We got some nice players. So if we go to uh, complete it... No, we, no, not there. Uh, if we go to roster history, obviously we signed a lot of guys. But the main guys... That I did get. And if I can find them. Uh, let's see. Can I find anybody? I don't think I can. And oh, we got one of the guys I signed was Michael Conforto to a three year, I believe $45 million deal. So I got him. Um, and another guy that I got. Um, there was another guy that I did get. Uh, is he not on here, though? I don't think he's on here. But we did get James Paxton as well from free agency on a three-year, $45 million deal. And then for the offsets, obviously, I got Michael Conforto. 
And I think that was pretty much it for my free agency moves. But we are running kind of tight on cash. We are at 624 mil. So a lot of guys are going to come or come and go at the end of the season. So I do want to try to find a bullpen arm. If I could get a good bullpen arm for this season. Maybe like a Chad Green. Or maybe we could find someone like an Aaron Bummer. So I'm actually going to try to get Aaron Bummer. I mean, we'll see what happens. We might have to trade away one of our guys, the top prospects, maybe like a Simon Richardson. Or we could try to go for one of the guys, like maybe a Eric Parado, and save a crap ton of money. So, maybe we can do that. So, let's see. Who else can we trade away? Can we trade away one of these bad guys? Yeah, we can. Richard Urania. I'm not even going to use Richard Urania in this rebuild. So, that's actually pretty good. And can we also trade away... I want to try to get another player from the White Sox if I can. Maybe like a CJ or a Jordan. We could try to get another pitcher. No, we can't get Liam Hendricks, that's for sure. Can we get someone maybe like a Dylan Casey? We can get someone like a Dylan Cease. And then I also want to try to get a first baseman like a Gavin Sheets. No, obviously not Yohan Mankata. Maybe a Danny. So this might... Ooh, we can try, we, no, we can't get Jordan. Um, Nick Williams. You know, okay, you know what? I'll make. Let's do a three for three trade. So we're gonna get. Actually, no, we're just gonna do this two for two, three for two. So we're gonna trade away. Um, Eric Pareno, Richard Urania, and Jordan uh, Grishans for Aaron Bummer and Dylan Cease of the Chicago White Sox. Aaron Bummer last year he did pretty good. And then Dylan Cease, I don't believe he played last season. Oh, no, he did, but I feel like he's going to have a bounce back. So that's why I'm, I'm going to pick him up. And then we're going to try to get at least one more bullpen arm. So we're going to see who I can get here. I'm hoping we could get somebody um, really good. And if we can, then I think that we will be set for the 2021 season. So let's see if I can get someone else. So... I'll be back in a quick, quick second. This is a big steal right here. This is a really, really big steal. Like, literally. Literally. I don't even know how... I don't even know what the... I don't even know what the Nationals are doing in this situation. So we're going to trade away our top catcher prospects in Gabriel Morano and uh, one of our... Top guys, uh, pretty okay second baseman, Kevin Vickina for Jordan Montgomery, Tanner Rainey, and then uh, one of the top prospects of the Nationals, and Aaron Skunk. So that's another trade I'm going to make right there. And then I also want to get a, let's see if I can get another catcher really quick. I, mean, I can't, probably can't get most of the catchers, but we may be able to get one more guy in. I'm praying maybe we could get a starter. So if we could get a starter, then then, uh, bleh. <laughs> then I think we'll be set and we'll be on our way. So maybe if we could get maybe like a Chris Paddock. Well, not really. But uh, actually, no. That's gonna make all the, that's gonna be all the trades I'm gonna make for the season. So I think we are set for the season. And then we are the ninth ranked team in baseball right now as we currently speak. This is our lineup. I think we're going to go pretty well. So I'm only going to sim. I'm going to sim to the trade deadline. And then I'll see you guys at the end. So we'll see you guys. Actually, no. I'll see you guys all at the end of the second season. So at the end of the official year of number one, we went 90 and 72 and made it to the postseason as a wild card team which i think is pretty well so let's see how we did it looks like we're gonna go up against the yankees which is interesting the twins oh okay it's where it's mariners have made the playoffs really that's interesting but let's take a look at awards michael Conforto, we only won one but michael Conforto won the silver slugger and James Paxton almost wins the Cy Young Award at with a 3.47 ERA. Interesting. He also won the batting title as well. So that's pretty darn good, I'd say. 
And we do have some legal leaders, Michael Conforto in batting average and also in hits. And then Paxton in strikeouts and war as well. So that's pretty successful right there. Let's see how everyone he did. Bo Bichet, he did really well. He did pretty darn well, 305. Marcus Semyon did pretty good with a 275. Michael Conforto, 327. That's not bad at all. Vlad, I mean, he did pretty well, but the average could be up a little bit. 246. George Springer did okay. Only 24 home runs, though. Did kind of expected more. Goodiel, well, he did okay. I mean, he did uh, got 230, but 23 home runs. Teoscar Hernandez did pretty well. Captain Biggio had a, oh, had a good season. Same with Danny Jansen. The bench, they did all did well. Even Rowdy Telez. Wow, dang. Rowdy might have to replace... Jeez. Oh, Rowdy might have to replace the um, DH spot. Let's see how one did the pitching. James Paxton did pretty well. Jordan Montgomery from that trade, he did okay. Steven Matz is doing really well, surprisingly. Nate Pearson, he's doing okay. And then Hunjin Ryu is not doing that bad, but he is aging, so we might have to let him go. We might have to get rid of his contract. Robbie Ray, he did pretty good. He did okay. Trent Thornton, not that great. Uh, Ryan Murky, not that bad. Ross Stripling did okay. And then and uh, Julian Mayweather, not that good. Wow, Aaron Bummer sucked. Okay, we might have to get rid of Aaron Bummer. Tanner Rani did, Tanner Rainey did really good, and then Kirby Yates did pretty darn good. So we, all right. So here we go. We are in the wild card game. So this is it. This is the wild card. I'm hoping we can win this game. And we're gonna, we have Paxton on the mound. Went, oh no. Come on. There we go. What was set? There we go. Let's go. And Vlad with a two run shot. Oh no. Okay. And Boba Shet also with a two run shot. It is five to one. Six, seven to one. Blue Jays right now. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. That we are doing really okay. Uh oh. Okay. Pitching change. Okay. We, we, all right. Um. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. There we go. All right. One, two, and we advance to the ALDS. Let's go. We made it to the wild card. We made it through the wild card, and we're going up against the Minnesota Twins. So game one, Jordan Montgomery was Kenta Maeda. There we go, let's win. Steven Matz, Sergio Barrios, lost that one. Nate Pearson, Carlos Martinez, lost that one. Okay, we're gonna have to go into we're gonna have to go into this game. It's James Paxton versus uh, I don't remember who that was. David Dave Smeltzer. I don't even know who Dave Smeltzer is, but, but we should we we gotta win this. We have to. Like we obviously have to win this. Because Dave smelts it. Okay, Vlad Guerrero, that's a double. And the runner was thrown out at home. There we go, Bo Bichette. There we go, Bo. Oh, no. And Brent Rooker. Oh, all right. Come on, Ross Stripling. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. Michael Conforto. Single. Vlad. Takes a walk. Randall Gritchick. Strikeout. George Springer, come on. And we go to the top of the 10. Danny Jansen. And a run scores. And a run scores. And we're in game five. Jordan Montgomery versus Kenta Maeda. Okay, I feel confident with Jordan Montgomery. I feel cop and Vlad hits a two-run shot already, and we're already up two to nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. That is amazing, and our run scores. Alex Kirloff hits a solo shot, which is three-one, and then we four to one already. It's four to one already here in the fourth inning. Look at this, six to one. Oh my gosh. I think the Blue Jays maybe. Okay, we're definitely winning this game for sure. We're winning this game for sure. Eight to one. Okay, yeah, 
Yeah, we're definitely winning this one. Uh, oh, no. Okay. I don't want to get too cocky here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And a tab and digit with a three-run shot. Okay. One, two. Let's go. We advance to the ALCS. We advance to the ALCS. Okay. Facing the Rays. Match was glass now. Lost that one. Oh, we didn't even see that game, but we won that one. Hunter Evers, right here, bro. Lost that one. Paxson versus Lorenzen. Lost that one. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to have to quick manage this game. All right, here we go. What's the play ball? All right, come on. And there we go, two runs score. Are we clutching things out right now? I feel like we're clutching things out right now. Oh no, three to two. Okay, three to two. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh my gosh, come on. All right, we're gonna have to put in uh, Julian Mayweather here. There we go, bubble shot. There we go. Oh, Brandon Lau with a solo shot. There we go, six to five. Okay, come on. The double. Ground out. Fly out. We're gonna have to go into this game. Hmm. We're gonna have to go into the game. We're gonna have to go into the game. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Runner at second. Two outs. Three. All right. And that's going to be the game. Dang it. All right. Well, we advance. Okay. Well, we made it to the ALCS. We didn't make it to the World Series, though. Which sucks. But, hey, you can't win them all. But we did definitely win uh we i'd say this year the first official season was a success so it's gonna wrap up part one yes we're going to 2023 again if you guys did enjoy uh the first part of the toronto blue jays rebuild make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys all in part number two of this rebuild have a good day everyone